Let's with us right now is Congressman Jim Banks, the uh, uh, Republican from Indiana. Uh, he, he has a novel solution for dealing with some of the rioters who are causing problems. How about you just lose uh, unemployment and other related benefits uh, if you're found guilty of that? It joins us right now. Congressman, what reaction have you gotten? Uh, the reaction has been overwhelming. Uh, Neil, there's been several videos that came out Thursday night of people who were accosted or assaulted when they left the White House. One, one famous video of Rand Paul. There's also another video of an older couple. They've never been identified, uh, but I happen to know them. They're, they're constituents of mine. When they left the White House, uh, Antifa thug jumped up in the face of this poor woman and flipped her off with both of his middle fingers. Where I come from, that man would be arrested. He would be behind bars today for assault. Uh, unfortunately, in these big cities like Washington, D.C., largely they've turned a blind eye to these incidents. But my, my bill, the Protect Peaceful Protest Act, would take away the enhanced unemployment benefits of anyone who has been arrested and convicted of a crime as part of these protests. Enough is enough. My, my constituents and people all over America are begging our political leaders to do something about it. So they would have to have been convicted of a crime um, before you could lower the hammer on their unemployment benefits, right? And the federal unemployment that, benefits of that. In other words, the extra benefits that go beyond the state ones that are sort of in limbo right now. That, that's right. I, I, I wish I could go beyond that, but the way that the bill is written is related to those uh, enhanced benefits. That, that's a good start. I also, as part of the bill, would require any of these protesters who hold up traffic or cause uh, a lot of additional taxpayer dollars to go toward law enforcement purposes as part of these incidents, they should be on the hook to pay for that instead of hardworking taxpayers in my district. But they would have to formally been arrested, right? They'd have to be convicted of that crime. They might be waiting because many, many cause and agitate things, but they're, they, they go away scot-free. So how do you deal with that? Yeah, I, I hope that my bill will serve as a deterrent and, and just the same way as the president's executive order. If you heard his, his great speech on Thursday night at the White House, he talked about what happened when he instituted the 10-year prison sentence against anyone who tears down a statue in Washington, D.C., and how all of a sudden those incidents stopped occurring when he instituted that penalty. I, I hope my bill would serve as the same type of deterrent. And I'm sure the president's already thinking about this, but the president could sign an executive order that would do exactly what I'm calling for, since his last executive order extended the enhanced unemployment benefits, an executive order from the president could institute the same type of deterrent and penalty uh, in that way, because you and I probably would agree that it's unlikely Speaker Pelosi will allow my bill to move forward. Yeah, I was thinking that. You read my mind. Uh, Congressman Jim Banks, thank you very much. We are waiting uh, this White House briefing, how they might respond to developments, including initiatives such as yours.